Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a trick with select make input field that you can set the default value dynamically from the database. So an example is from our CRM course on Laravel Daily where we have customers list and there are pipeline stages of those customers and you can move the customers from stage to stage and for that we have an action in the table called move to stage and see the stage lead and the stages are lead, contact made, proposal made and so on with positions specifically. And when you click move to stage there is a pop-up model window with the default value of contact made which is by default the next one from the current one lead. If we click, for example, a customer with contact made, move to stage, the default status suggested is the next one from contact made. So how to implement that? Here's the code. First, custom action of table. This is in a customer resource. You do action make and you provide the form which would automatically open up the modal window. And that form has two fields and we're interested in that select. And this is the code that I wanted to show you. So we have current customer as record. So the row of the table and then we can calculate the position to be offered. Now notice this example is just for pipeline stages and just for custom actions, but you can use the same logic with any select make field in any of your form for setting some default value according to your custom logic. This is just one example. But what I wanted to show you is you can query the database for the next pipeline stage in our case. So pipeline stage where position is bigger than the current one and the current one is taken from the relationship in this case. And this is an interesting part. If we do have that pipeline stage with the next position, then it would return the ID. Otherwise, this question mark would mean that it's no. So there's no pipeline stage. So for example, customer is the last stage of pipeline stage and when we click move to stage here, we don't have the default value at all because it returns null, but it doesn't throw any error, it just doesn't set anything as default. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you with select make default, you may calculate the default value by querying additional thing from the database. If you want more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in those other videos.